Um, this is a presentation from um, Chong Bay University and University of Reading, titled Gelf is it Gelfen? Gelfen. Gelfen One Imagery in Monitoring Crop Growth. Right, it's me again. Uh, again, I will make this very short. Uh, so the work again is a collaboration between us and the Jumbe University. The satellite image we used is Galfin uh, One imagery. Uh, imagery. Uh, I will briefly introduce the data from there. Um, for monitoring crop growth, introduction and the feature briefly introduce the data and the algorithm we used, uh, experiment result and future work. Right. Um, as we probably all know, uh, crop planting uh, area monitoring is the basic for production estimates for yields um, in precision uh, agriculture. Gaofen <coughs> seals, actually Gaofen uh, is a large project in China. Um, it's planned to have six satellites launched between 2013 uh, to 2016. Uh, Gaofen 1 is the first one, which was launched uh, April 2013. The key one of the main purpose is for uh, precision agriculture. So uh, Jumbe University and Reading University, we have this collaboration, uh, try to use uh, currently what they do in practice is still manually uh, segment the crop plants and a plant area. And so the aim of this study is to apply computer vision algorithms to make the process automated or semi-automated. So that's our goal. Um, after this presentation, you will, you will see actually it's not a success at all, at all uh, based on the Gaofen uh, imagery, which is about a two meter uh, resolution. Right. <coughs> so uh, the payloads for Gaofen uh, with RGB, near infrared, and the multi spectrum. Here we use multi spectrum and also extract <coughs> features from multi spectrum, uh, texture features. Um, the spectrum uh, feature we used is near infrared, R and G, and also extracting some index feature, for example, like NDBI, as Paula already introduced, and also SB, uh, SABI, EBI. So those contribute to identify um, vegetables. Texture feature very simple, which based on our previous experience or research um, result, we use Gabo uh, filter, Gabo features, and also GLCM features. Um, I'm sure all of you from the uh, comp computer vision community knows know know those features because it's texture feature very popularly used in image analysis to extract the silhouette change of images. So the algorithm, the key point is to segment the crop. In this case, the image we have is the corn planting area to segment the area. So first of all, the resolution, the high resolution image is input and then image processing, uh, pre-processing and uh, extract features. Uh, <coughs> select a small, basically it's the for training set selection, we all doing this manually. Um, and we apply uh, SVM, support vector machine, as a, classi uh, as a classifiers. Uh, to construct a SVM, we applied uh, PSO, Particle Swarm Optimization Algorithm, to select uh, SVM parameters. And after that, we use other bits to, to select uh, key, uh, weak classifiers to construct uh, the strong classifiers. And then, to <coughs> if it's correctly, um, yeah, if the strong classifiers give us the a reasonable result, we would say, okay, uh, finish. Otherwise, go back to the, the training set selection. 
So that's very simple, basic um, computer vision algorithm used in this practice. Okay, here um, we briefly uh, introduced the SVM. SVM here we use very popularly used uh, Leap SVM in MATLAB platform. Again, for SVM, as we all know, is two uh, in our case, is two class classification. Uh, it is a crop area or it, it is not. So it's two class classification. We use linear classifiers. But how to choose the linear classifiers? Again, here, we use the particle swap optimization algorithm for the parameter selection. Okay, um, for the comparison purpose, actually we use uh, PSO as well as generic <coughs> algorithm, uh, genetic algorithm for the optimization. And from this figure you can see um, PSO compared to generic algorithm will have much lower computation cost in selecting the opti optimal parameters for SEM, especially when the uh, training sample increase. Yeah, when training sample increase, increase to about 1,700, 1, the uh, GA gave us dramatic improve, uh, increase of the computation time. But uh, PSO still uh, steadily increase. Right, um, here, yeah, as, as I said, um, training, to be honest, in this point, I have slightly um, different view to the uh, to other people working in this project. They use uh, other boost for the for iteration and then to choose the uh, weak classifiers to construct the strong classifier. From my point of view, SVM, as long as SVM parameter selected, we could just uh, do that, um, do the classification. But uh, yes, as we can see, here we use two measures. One is uh, cover. Another is overall uh, accuracy. Overall accuracy is the um, overall, here we classify the crop, the uh, cone. The cone area, overall pixel points represent cone area and accurately uh, recognized as cone area. That's the definition of the overall accuracy. Um, <coughs> Did I miss something here? Yeah, in... Um, <coughs> yeah, uh, here, in the experiment, actually, we uh, tested, use the spectral data only, use the texture data only, use joint uh, spectral data and uh, texture data in the classification as a feature vector. And here presented is the result of the yeah, result of by using only spectrum data, by using only texture data, and by using combined uh, spectrum and texture data. From the experiment result, you can see the uh, actually spectral data contribute to the classification um, take more weight than texture feature. Uh, however, texture feature does contribute um, to the <coughs> to the final classification, especially when the the in iteration uh, increase, number of iteration increase. Right here is the result. Um, the first is the original data with the uh, false colors. Uh, the red actually is the cone area. So that is ground choose. Ground choose, we manually select ground choose. And here present some method, <coughs> some result. Um, that is our method. And the, the, 
Yeah, that is our final method. We call it uh, PSL adipose to SVM uh, with spectrum and the texture. Um, that is only with texture. You can, you can see only with texture doesn't give us any meaningful result at all. However, the spectral data does contribute to the classification. And the others is the other classification method uh, produced by MD. So um, from this result, you can see our result is better than those results uh, provided by MD. MD is the, the software package, commercial software package. For the classification. Yeah, that's the numerical result from the previous um, previous result. Yeah, as we can see, the overall accuracy is higher here. We choose another scenario. This scenario actually is the one with very small amount of area covered by corn. Uh, you can see that doesn't give us very good result at all in this case. Um, although the final uh, overall uh, accuracy shows high, however, if you look at the cover here, it's very low. That means the, post, uh, the false positive is very high. Yeah, I briefly um, explained why the couple give us very low uh, value. Basically, it's not usable. Well, conclusion, uh, we developed this algorithm based on very popularly used um, computer vision, in, in computer vision uh, community. And the experiment shows our method slightly better than uh, the method Oh, slightly better than the result produced by MD. Okay, the future uh, further exploration, we considered to use e-cognition um, and then combine the shape uh, features into the previous classification is pixel-based. And then here we plan to use um, shape features and the smoothness, roughness, which uh, facilitated by the e-cognition software package. Um, yeah, uh, explain what is the shape uh, features. For example, size um, and the length width, ratio of length width, uh, uh, length width and also roughness, uh, compactness. With this selected, and then we have uh, input the data into the e-cognition uh, software package, we, we have something like this. Uh, if you look at the ground truth, ground truth is, is this uh, type, and uh, that should be the area. We, those lines should be the line uh, we draw from automated method. However, um, E-cognition gave us that, that result based on different uh, index. Uh, we will select different uh, parameters and uh, put the data into the E-cognition gave us that. And then we, apply, we applied watershed. Again, gave us very unsuccessful result. So basically, it's still not, um, it's something we are still trying to find good method to solve the problem. Uh, currently, it's an ongoing project. Right, and here, here I would like to make this announcement. We planned a workshop um, in Zhongdei University, Taiwan, China. Ne not next, uh, April two, uh, 2017, about uh, in one year time. So all of you are very welcome to attend this conference. Yeah, so remote sensing challenges and applications. <coughs> so, uh, you can bring your work to attend this conference. Okay, thank you very much okay. for your attention. Thank you. Are there any questions? Yes. You may ask a question. Well, yeah.
Or maybe what we could do is defer any questions yeah. as part of the... You'll yeah, have a panel discussion, right?